Today, Talk News is reporting a breaking news about tow hitch of the Tesla Model Y. Tesla appears to be using the brake from the manufacturing to take care of details that are of considerable interest to many of its customers. After the first deliveries of the Model Y, a question was posed whether the new Tesla crossover would optionally get tow hitch. Several YouTubers on the media followed it up. But now, there is an official clarity in this regard. Since this Good Friday, a trailer hitch for Model Y can be selected as an option on the Tesla order pages. Tesla Model Y tow hitch is available not only in the United States but also in Europe. But the Model Y tow hitch comes at a hefty price. So stay with me as I'm going to tell you the entire story and pose some interesting questions. Now, welcome back, dear Torque News subscribers and viewers. If you are here for the first time, please take a moment and click on the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay in touch and not miss out daily and automotive news reports, daily Tesla reports as well. Also. Please like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who helped me to bring these reports to you daily. Now, I first learned about Tesla Model Y's tow hitch from Jill Grandiger, who early this morning posted on Facebook writing, Breaking news, just spotted on Tesla's US website. When choosing your wheels, you can now opt for a tow hitch for $1,000. When choosing your wheels of your Model Y, of course, you can now opt for a tow hitch for $1,000. The news immediately got a lot of attention from the Model Y owners. Here is how to see your tow hitch option. Start designing your Tesla Model Y on Tesla's website and you will see it under exterior section. Jill says he saw it when he was designing, he was choosing the wheels of his Model Y. Now, when Tesla Model Y came out in mid-March, the manual showed Tesla Model Y can have a roof rack. But what about the tow hitch? Tesla just launched the Model Y with first deliveries happening just a few weeks ago. There were a lot of questions open about the car, most of which have been answered when the manual came out but one remained. Where is the tow hitch? Apparently there was a place to add it, but there was no tow hitch option. Tesla has the answer now. The Model Y tow hitch is here and is available for $1,000. And while we already knew a roof rack would eventually be available, it's now been added to Tesla's shop as a $450 accessory, the same price as the Model 3 roof rack. But apparently the Model Y's tow hitch is more expensive than the Model the, uh, than the uh, Toyota RAV4 tow hitch, which is about $500. Can someone explain this difference? If yes, please comment in the comment section below. On Tesla's Facebook group, uh, uh, on Tesla Facebook group actually, some people complained about the price of tow hitch. One person says $1,000 is outrageous. Hopefully that's more like a towing package, not just a tow hitch, but like more like a towing package with wiring and perhaps better cooling capacity or such, writes one person. Another person comforts him saying, you know, uh, it may be uh, not only tow hitch, but also so a modified suspension is in the package of that $1,000. But yet another person says the $1,000 model Y tow hitch price is not outrageous for Tesla. They are charging $300 for Homelink, which comes standard on many cars. So now let's talk about the towing capacity of Tesla Model Y. Um, but please uh, do this discussion also in the comments below and let me know what you think about towing hitches price. Is $1,000 a fair price or too expensive? Or do you think more than just tow hitch will come with that price? But now let's talk about um, Tesla Model Y's towing capacity. We now we know that there is a tow hitch, but how much can you uh, tow with your Model Y? Tesla's website says the Model Y's towing capacity for the tow hitch option will be 3,500 pounds. 3,500 pounds. 
It literally reads the following. High strength, class 2 steel tow bar, capable of towing up to 3,500 pounds. This is higher than the Model 3's tow hitch option, which has a capacity of around 2,000 pounds. That option is only available on European Model 3's though. As you can see, the Model Y's tow hitch is classified as a Class 2 tow hitch, which means Class 2, which means along with the 3,500 uh, pound capacity comes a maximum tongue weight of 300 pounds and probably a one one to quarter inch receiver. Now, 3,500 pound isn't going to break any towing records, right? Especially when you compare it with pickup trucks. But for a small travel trailer or to tow a small boat or just for the simple addition of a bike carrier, it should be more than enough to help expand your cargo options. Uh, bikes and uh, bicycles could also be carried on the roof rack but since Model Y is a taller vehicle and some people might not like lifting a bike all the way up to the top of the car, the tow hitch should be a better solution for that sort of thing. And I'm glad Tesla is adding that and I'm glad Tesla is using this um, uh, period of suspension or orderly shutdown in its uh, US factories to, to build something like this and to make it available and therefore I'm thinking that while they're waiting on this, we probably see more frequent over-the-air up software updates and more additions to Tesla cars because they're just standing there and they probably will come up with all these ideas. Interestingly, Tesla's online Model Y owner's manual still hasn't been updated with the new information and still says Model Y is not equipped with towing. We can imagine that this section will change soon. Model Y, actually Model 3 is already pretty flex flexible. It fits three adults and a bike, but between the Model Y's increased cargo capacity, roof rack availability, and now a tow hitch, it should turn out to be even better. There is no word on whether the tow hitch will be available as a retrofit for existing vehicles post-delivery, but it can be added to current orders which have not yet been fulfilled. If you are interested in adding this to your order, you can go into your Tesla's account and click Edit Design. Since the roof rack is just an accessory, it can be added to existing vehicles. Uh, Electric has a good article explaining all this and like all of us, they were also expecting a tow hitch, but with the Model Y first came, when actually when the Model Y first came out without any option to add one, we all were worried about when a tow hitch would be added. We didn't know it was coming very soon. We were expecting it would probably be, who knows, maybe uh, several months later, but you know, we are in an uncertain situation right now and no one knew if it was coming or when it was coming. But since the European EU Model 3s have a tow hitch option, but US Model 3s don't, um, the people thought they were, um, there was a chance that the same thing might happen to the Model Y. We were thinking that mod European Model Ys would have a tow hitch, but US Model Ys wouldn't have. So now having a tow hitch in US and also in Europe, I think is a, is a nice relief, especially when families are traveling places and they can uh, tow bikes and small, small trailers. Now, please let me know what you think about the Model Y's new storage options. Do, do, do they make you want a Model Y more than a Model 3? Or is Tesla Model 3's storage enough for you? Uh, also, let us know in the comments, please. Let's continue the discussion. What about the price? Is the Model Y tow hitch too expensive or outrageously expensive? Or is that a fair price? Um, 
Let's continue the discussion, please. But before we go, please take a moment and subscribe to Torque News YouTube channel as we are bringing you daily Tesla and electric automotive news reports. Uh, this channel may not be visually very attractive, but we promise to bring you high quality information. And later today, I have another very interesting Tesla report coming. I think there is breaking news coming from China about the new long range uh, model, which we mentioned briefly yesterday. And please so subscribe to our channel ring the notification bell and like this video please to show your appreciation of all the people who helped me to bring this to our subscribers and our viewers take good care on this good friday and um, take good care of one another and stay safe and god bless you all have a blessed rest of the week